Hi, I'm Dimitri Metzelton from Mackey, and these are our DL32S and DL16S digital mixers from our DL mixer series. The big difference between the DL16S and the DL32S are the numbers of inputs and outputs. So on the DL16S we have 16 inputs. These are 8 XLR, 8 combo inputs and 8 XLR outputs. On the DL32S we have 32 inputs. We have 16 XLR inputs, 16 combo inputs and then we have 10 XLR outputs. All the inputs are, uh, on, are, uh, are coming with the uh, Onyx Plus preamps. So we have really the best preamps built inside these mixers here with a very high headroom and a very good signal to noise ratio. Then we have here some more uh, connectors. We have here a USB connector for the US as a USB interface. This means that I can connect my DL32S or DL16S directly to a PC or to a Mac and I can record up to 32 tracks and play back up to 32 tracks as well. The next connector here is uh, for an external Ethernet. So this means that I can here hook up an external router or connect my MacBook or a PC directly to this unit. Additionally to that we have also a router built inside. You see the antenna right here. So if you want to work with these mixes right out of the box you can do that. And you can hook up up to 20 devices at the same time to our DL mixers. Why would you do that? There is a couple of reasons. One example is you're playing in the band and everybody in the band wants to control his own monitor mix or his own in ear monitors. You can do that using the DL. So uh, for example the drummer is using AUX5 with his Android tablet and then the singer would be using AUX1 with his iPhone. You can do that at the same time and the front of house engineer is just controlling everything using for example his MacBook if he wants to do so. So a lot of good reasons for having multiple devices connected to the DL mixers. As I said we, you can also uh, hook up an external router. That's also possible. Underneath the antenna we see the phone's output and with the level control and you can go really loud with this headphone output which is quite good as you know if it's really loud somewhere in a live concert you still want to hear what's going on through your headphones. So that's all there. So this is the outside of uh, the DL16S and the DL32S and there's a lot under the hood and that's what we, uh, we will be looking at next. As I said uh, you can hook up a PC or a Mac uh, or Android and iPhone devices. This means that our master fader software is cross-platform compatible. This means iOS, macOS, Windows and Android. So let's have a look on the MacBook here how to control the DL16S or the DL32S. Many of you sure already know from the other videos we did with the Pro Audio TV the Master Fader software, the renowned uh, Mackey Master Fader app. So I won't go into every little detail but I want to give you an overview over uh, what you can do with the Master Fader software. By the way you can download it for free so this means you can uh, just download it, even work with it uh, offline and, and try it out. So uh, I opened here the Master Fader app for uh, macOS and when I choose a fader here I can grab the fader with the mouse and then just change the volumes. When I click on the channel I can copy and paste settings for example, change the name, change the image and so on. Solo, mute functions, that's all there. Now with having the uh, app on uh, Windows and on macOS we can scale the windows. So this means we can see a lot of things at the same time depending on the size of the screen that you are using. So for example I can grab the EQs right here. I see it on the same screen and when I go to the next channel I just grab the next EQs and change them as well. Every EQ is coming in a modern and a vintage version. So the modern version is a digital EQ and when we switch over to the vintage version we have an analog modeling of an EQ so it really also sounds different. If you're not familiar with certain instruments we offer a lot of presets so you can choose from a lot of different presets for different instruments here. And every input 
And every output actually features a real-time analyzer and a spectrum analyzer as well. That's available at all times. Every channel also comes with dynamics, so we have a gate per channel and we have a compressor per channel. And again they come as modern or a vintage version, so we have a digital compressor or a digital gate and also vintage versions, which then again sound different and react different depending on the program, depending on the music coming in. So this is, uh, this is the dynamic section here of the channel that I've chosen right here. Then we go to the sense. There I can see our eight effect sense. Uh, right now the app is set to the DL32S. Uh, one uh, difference between the DL32S and the DL16S on the buses is that we have eight aux sense on the DL32S and we have six aux sense on the DL16S. So that's the main difference uh, right there. So we can change the uh, auxes right there and then we have also a routing page where we can choose the right input, choose the subgroups and also choose the VCAs. We offer six VCAs, six mute groups and six view groups. The view groups are also really handy to organize your uh, views. So maybe you want to see just the guitars or just uh, the vocals. You can do that using the view groups. All the output buses feature a lot of DSP power as well. So we have the 8 aux sense, we have the 6 subgroups and the mains and they all have a 31 band uh, graphic EQ. We have a parametric EQ on all the outputs as well with high pass and low pass filters and we have dynamics. So we have a compressor on the auxes but also on the subgroups here. Uh, that's very handy for example for a monitor, if I want to limit a monitor or a, uh, an in-ear monitor, I can do that. Or maybe I want to use a vintage compressor on the drum subgroup, I can do that there as well. Also integrated are delay lines, so if you're using multiple speaker setups, you can put in the meters or the feed and then the delay will be set automatically for you. So uh, we have a lot of DSP power in the outputs as well. Again, also here, RTAs and spectrum analyzers on the outputs, also available at all times. And that's the good thing about the DL mixes is that all the DSP that we see here is always available, so you're never running out of DSP. You can run multiple EQs, uh, um, multiple uh, graphic EQs and on, on all the outputs and so on without losing uh, the DSP power there. So that's really powerful. Uh, another nice thing is that we have four DSP effects built inside and this goes for the DL16S and DL32S but this also works with the previous DL32R. Also there we uh, will have four DSP effects from now on. And this includes nine reverbs, then we have a lot of delays. I'm just loading in a couple of uh, effects right here. So we have a lot of modulation effects as well. So I'm just opening a couple of these effects. Now this is the last slot. So you see right here four effect slots that I can just choose here and then change the settings for these effects. So a lot of DSP power for effects as well. Another great feature is our I.O. patch window. And what I really like here is that any signal can be sent to anywhere. So this means I can say, okay, my uh, microphone preamp one with, uh, as we said, the renowned uh, Onyx microphone preamps goes to channel one. I could also say this mic preamp should go to multiple channels at the same time. Um, we feature also the input A and input B option. This means that per channel I can choose uh, quickly to, uh, to between two inputs. This is much faster than going into this matrix and make uh, the adjustments every time there. So if you buy the DL16S or DL32S, the input A is set to all the analog inputs and the input B is set to the USB returns, but you can change this at any time. Same thing for the outputs, so I can send anything to any output wherever I like, also including the USB outputs here. Okay, so this is our I.O. patch window and another very useful feature are our access limits. In the beginning I was telling you that 
you can hook up up to 20 devices to one DL unit and you can organize uh, these units uh, here so you can say okay the drummer is maybe just using aux 5 or you want the singer to use aux 1 this can be set up per device so they can control just the things that they should control and they don't mess up for example with the front of house mix and this is really sophisticated so for example here you can say okay the drummer can use aux 5 but he's also starting the playback from the playback tracks so we can open that up for him and he can then use the record and play functions as well. So, uh, a lot of power here, a lot of DSP power under the hood as I was saying. These are the DL32S and DL16S digital mixers from Mackie, multi-platform compatible. A lot of DSP power as we've seen here. And you can also use it as audio interfaces, so to playback music, for example, or record your show. Um, and yeah, I think we're through. So thanks for watching.